You know, I noticed a glow before, but now, now it's bright around you. You've come a long way since Paragus, and despite all we've been through, you seem a lot better for it. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands.
Hey, General, are you all right? You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. Was there something you wanted me for? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. I would, but then I wouldn't be the only one with a floating sphere following him around, and I kind of like that. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space-worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. You have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased, hounded since our first meeting, and it has only made you stronger, more capable. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do, and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Ah, now you are learning. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the Force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Oh, 
Turned. While I was disturbed that you chose to defy our orders and obtain transport off Citadel Station, the matter has since been closed. It was the decision of Republic authorities that your testimony would no longer be necessary, unless you'd be allowed to go. But as we discovered, you had already left. In some ways, it was lucky for us, avoiding a possibly embarrassing situation. Why does the Republic do anything? The head doesn't know what the feet are doing. The hands don't even know they've got fingers, let alone where they are. My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Anyways, you should just be glad I decided to overlook the fact you escaped arrest. Yeah, yeah. And if there's nothing else, I've got a job to do. What is it? I see. And where and when did you kill them? I see. Well, you certainly earned the bounty on those two dangerous criminals. Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. The TSF once again thanks you for your cooperation. General, need something? I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. Then you understand my restlessness. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? I'm sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber. Any weapon only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place.